The Technion is the most important engineering school in Israel, and engineering is the key component of high tech. A tremendous experimental ground with unbelievable talent. One of the greatest relative advantages in the country. The Technion is the uh, premier startup nation university. I'm very much involved in industry, and if I look around, who are the people that created the high-tech industry? The majority are Technion graduates. The best engineers, the best entrepreneurs, and so on, come out of the Technion and are throughout the whole startup scene in Israel. It's no coincidence that Shai Gassi, the founder of Better Place, uh, comes from the Technion. We did it all in Israel. I don't think most people understand, but we got about a thousand engineers working in Israel on this project, of which I would argue probably 70-80% got educated here. In all forms of engineering skills, we took innovation from every form of imagination you can bring in. Israel specializes in multidisciplinary technologies. For instance, a pill that you can swallow that's actually a camera and that takes pictures through your intestines, developed using microelectronics and lasers and battery technology and miniaturized cameras. This is a typical Israeli invention where you combine many different technologies. And the Technion specializes in, in that. Israel's become the uh, ground zero of the change. And it defines Israel. It defines the role that we have to play. Israel is an amazing lab. It's an extension of the Technion. I tried in other countries. But you don't get this kind of an environment to go test a project like you get in Israel. You don't get the sense that there is a dialogue, an ongoing dialogue. It's not just about startups. Intel, Microsoft, Google, Cisco, and so on. They're all here. They're all doing research and development here. And here, there is a great opportunity both to invest in the Technion itself to maintain the relative advantage and attract talented young people and at the same time to invest in the application and the relationship with industry that will help the economy of the country. Israel is itself a startup nation, a, a country that was started only 60 years ago that needed a tremendous amount of pioneering energy to, to create itself, sustain itself, and survive. And the question is, what is pioneering now? And it's really creating technologies that have an impact on the entire world, that save people's lives, that change people's lives, that, uh, that solve the, some of the world's biggest problems. Uh, these kind of solutions are going to come from technology, and those technologies are largely going to come from Israel and from a place like the Technion. We can become the change. And if we do so, with the powers in the back seats, we'll change here, we'll change Israel, and we'll change the world.